Go to tapjars.com to learn dreams, engage my services, and support the channel. What I'll do is I'll bring in Scoria. There you go. And let's say let's say I want it to look like the the base puppet like that. So I'm just going to take the whole thing out, and then I'll transplant body parts into the character. So um, over here, scope in there, scope in until you're at the actual body part and I'll delete the other one and now that's there or you can just like hide it so like if I copy that and because I've got this on it's really obvious if I'm in the right scope or not so you could do that you could delete them or you can turn them off or make them invisible or something if you want to be able to reposition them later you might want to um, as concerning the joints and stuff then you might want to leave it as a group with the old arm in it and um, and then certain things like uh, puppet mirroring and stuff won't mess up but this, it can mess up with um, with deleting them but I'll just keep going There we go. But it'll have to be like a comparable um, kind of size and stuff. But now you're running around with blue arms and all the animations still work. So you kind of put the new character into the old character's thing. So if I use the stretch tool to make his legs longer then you'd have to like adjust these legs first to be the same kind of height. So put that the same height off the ground. So the knees in here are probably not yeah, so it needs this character needs stretching as well. Like that. So sculpts may go weird and positioning of things may go weird and stuff, but as you're replacing it with your real character over here, if it's jointed up and stuff, if you copy that, then it will copy all the children. So what I'm doing is selecting that first and then copying it, and then it just gets that. And now I can put that into the leg. Like that. It's getting pretty weird looking, but um, yeah, so you need to make sure of that, but then it still keeps on animating properly. There, there's probably still going, if it's complex animation and stuff, you probably still have to adjust things so it looks right, like um, maybe she's crouching down too far or something. Uh, and then you'd have to go wading into the logic to um, adjust things, but that's... This is roughly how you do it. So like if you have lots of characters and you want them all to use the same like animation set, then you might want to make like a template character, do all the animation for it and then customize how they look. When you make the new character, then you like make a new element and then you import that into the element. And that way you can go back to the original and change the animations and add new ones and then go into the the uh, actual real character and update and it should get all the new animations thanks for watching i hope you learned something interesting go to patreon.com slash tapgiles to learn something new every day